Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and we're going to go ahead and continue our playthrough of F Escort with more asteroids! Nah, I'm just kidding, that was just a one-off, extremely boring mission, which kind of highlights some of the problems that this Welcome game had, and it's probably why Free Space 2 didn't sell nearly as well, because uh, you really only had die-hard fans that and enjoyed this technology. game. Intelligence has determined but, uh, at least one point of Shivan looks like we're going to be doing something to get some Shivan tech, which will be great. At least Got a little cargo depot here, so... Have been located here in Ikea. These cargo formations are different than any of the Sudan and Terran formations. So they look completely different from anything they've seen before, so they think they're Shivan. That's, uh, they must have had their top men figuring that out. indicates that the depot is protected by 6th century guns on the outer edges. This depot provides a prime opportunity to gather more information about the sheep. There's a question, what did that Masudan depot have sentry guns? If it was so important that, they will make that it needed, like, fighter escort and all that. Depot. And freighters and all that. I mean, I know gameplay-wise, uh, they made it easier, but still, you know, continuity-wise. Okay, this is going to be the mission where we start to get into shield technology, it looks like. I mean, we won't just, like, uh, one thing that is good is it's not like you just run over a power-up or anything like that, and, uh, all of a sudden you've got shields. You know, it's going to take a little while, but it's still, uh, a nice little step in the right direction. Direction, so that I don't have to worry about crashing into things as much because Scanning I'll have some shielding is your secondary objective. and it'll also even the playing field against the Sheevans a little bit. You will jump in approximately six kilometers from the cargo depot. Proceed okay. to the cargo depot quickly and eliminate all sentry guns. This will enable our freighters to collect the cargo after you have scanned it. So we're going to take out the sentry guns and scan the cargo. So, uh... I'm going to go with the Valkyrie and the Tempest again because, uh, not the Tempest, the uh, Furies. I'm sorry, I keep mixing up the Free Space 2 terminology here because, uh, I have played that game significantly more. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. And, uh. It's too quiet here. Yeah, you're right, Alpha 2. Yeah, this doesn't feel right. Don't look a gift horse in the mouse. I'm sure this is going to be fine. Maintain radio silence, pilot. You have a job to do. Shaven wing arriving. Didn't he just say maintain radio silence? We've got another one. Okay, so that's great. Two wings of Shaven fighters. They got these sentry guns. You don't like this? Maybe you should have found another job, Alpha 4. I mean, this is a dangerous job and all that. Okay, it looks like somebody's shooting. Okay, it's just another sentry gun. Let's take him out. Going on here? So the cargo, uh. Seems to. Like, uh, since I failed the objective, I still see the cargo on the scanner, so, uh. Oh, it's exploding. Great. You don't say. So this is a cluster buck. Alright. It's like a weird ship there. Oh shit, you yeah. stop. Okay. Uh you scan that. Nothing in there, that's uh great to know. Also nothing. Scan this, sensor arrays. Nothing, nothing, unknown. I like how they're just ganging up on all my wingmen. They were pussies anyway, so they could die. That's all the data we need. Get out of there, Alpha. Yeah, it looks kind of like a Reaper. But uh, let's go ahead and end this mission then. 
And this was fairly short, so I this think I'm going to do uh, two mission video this time. Your persistence in obtaining the data we uh, needed is commendable. While you were unable to gather the shield data, Okay, something finally different ICS from we have no recommendations for you. The data you did gather about Shivan's sensor technology so, will be vital in combating the Shivan forces. Our technicians now believe they will be able to implement a Okay, good. So it looks like the Shivan. next mission we should be able to target things, and since... This was a rather short, short video. It looks like it's only about five, six minutes in already. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start the next mission. Ready? All set. Starting sequence 52 gamma. Five, four, Three, Power level steady at 1.21 gigawatts. Six are holding steady. And sequence two in three, two, one, mark. That's it. It held. Reading 59% energy loss, but it held. The GTA has signed a ceasefire. Okay, so it looks like we're working with the students the now. Uh, that was that alien-looking dude. Uh, one other thing about the students is when they talk, they do, of course, have their own language and all that. Uh, unfortunately, it's just kind of like a fakish language in uh, the game here. Uh, basically, just the same sound bites over and over again. But uh, they do translate it out, and uh, you get a little bit of robotic voice through the translator. Oh, and here's the uh, first we get of the hardline religious nuts in the Sudan uh, Empire. So, uh, these, uh, yeah, these people believe that they, uh, need to bring the apocalypse or whatever and help the Sheevans to do that. Which, uh, is completely retarded, but we'll, uh, see exactly how much of a threat they are. Well, spoiler alert, not much. It looks like we can target the Sheevans now, and, uh, we're going to be able to punch through their shields a bit better because of the Avenger cannon that that guy stole that, uh, we apparently have again. You know, we never did hear anything about McCarthy. Like, uh, he did have this whole thing going on. A strike squad sent from the fifth fleet into the IKEA system was able to recover some Shivan shield prototypes. Fully functioning versions of this technology are being developed for use on GTA Okay, so it looks like that entire mission was a waste of time because they got the, the beta system shields the anyways. System. This shipment must arrive in Ribos. Report to mission briefing in 30 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and start the mission. At roughly 1400 hours, a large convoy carrying one of our newly developed shield prototypes was deployed. It was expected that the Shivans would attack the convoy. The Shivans destroyed the convoy. What the Shivans do not know is that the convoy was a decoy. There were a total of Well, I hope that the people on that convoy were like evacuated because that's like a really shitty ass mission. You are to take two wings of fighters to escort the three remaining shield prototypes. The Sheevan should think you are just another shipment headed for Beta Signe. This is not the direct route to Earth, which should divert the Sheevans from our true intent. You are but company the freighters that doesn't the make any to sense. The Why would they flight. care what direction that they're going the in? Until they have jumped to the Beta Signe system. So, uh... Like, they, they decimated the last convoy that went through here, and, uh, now they're saying, you know, oh, well, we've got this awesome plan to throw them off, and, you know, my question is, I don't even think the Shivans know where Earth is at this moment, or, uh, like, that it's a home world, or that it has any sort of significance like that. But I guess we'll go ahead and see what's going on. Cargo Alpha, Cargo Beta, Cargo Gamma. That's great. They are great with names here. What did name the base? Signy Installation. It's 
also great. So we've got 14 kilometers to go to Ribos. So I actually, I think this video might end up going a little while. Uh, just because of that. So let's just follow these guys in. He's already got damage. It's great. Alright, about 13 kilometers to Ribos. Let's see, what was that key to time accelerate again? No, that's not it. Oh, looks like we might. There we go, got some action. So let's take these guys out. Just two fighters, so it's probably just a scout. Okay, and I need to get a little bit of character there. More fighters coming in. So anyways, I guess long story short, the Shavens destroy this convoy too. I need to get better at dodging their missiles because I'm taking a heck of a lot of damage here. Oh, there we go. That's one wing of Sheevens down. Looks like another wing is jumping in ahead. Calling any ships in the area. This is the PMR oh. Andromeda. We have been attacked by enemy ships. They call themselves the Hammer of Light. They are in pursuit and will be here at any moment. Please assist. You can go screw yourself, Andromeda. Go ahead and just stick around. Because the Andromeda's got like no hole integrity left and it's like way the hell away and you know, just not worth it. In fact, I think it's actually one of the things you basically fail the mission if you head towards it. Because uh, I think we're actually probably going to get ambushed. Yep. The hammer oh, light has arrived. Please assist. We uh, no, they're a just attacking. Like so they can go screw themselves. Did he just so groan? We assist? And no Alpha 2. I already said. He can go fuck Our himself. To Theta. You're not in charge, Alpha 3. I'm in charge. This does look like a good time to rearm. Or maybe not. More sheep and fighters. Let's take them out. Before they blow up the convoy. Damn! I guess I got a kill by uh, technical ramming. Go ahead and let the cargo catch up. Or the support ship, but it looks like more Sheevan, so don't really have time for that. Because uh, freighters really do not have a whole lot of armor protection. I mean, it's basically realistic than that. And uh, they will explode fairly easily. In fact, uh, later on in other missions where you have to destroy freighters, it's just a few missile volleys and things like that with some of the more advanced missiles that will get reverse engineering, sir. Well, it looks like the Hammer of Life ships are gone. And some more fighters just jumped in here, but let's take them out. Little freighters firing their little pop guns. Though admittedly, the pop guns do actually do a hell of a lot of damage if you don't have shields. Uh, which is their one big defense. In fact, uh, there is a freighter class that the students have that I really like called the Sadus, I believe. And it's uh, got a significant amount of firepower, and in fact, uh, it can almost be unescorted. 
because uh, it just, like if you attack it with a fighter wing or a bomber wing, it will destroy them. I'm taking a hell of a lot of damage here. Hopefully we make it to the node without me exploding. We're about seven kilometers out. Missiles again. So let's go ahead and stop and uh, let him get here. Enemy they always come line. in when I'm trying to uh, rearm. So let's take him down. Okay, I got a little bit closer to him than I thought I was. Good kill. Take this guy out too. Shoot some missiles in to try and take out his shields. There we go. So that is one advantage that uh, you know Terran and Vasudan fighters have against Shivan fighters is uh, the Shivans are used to using shields and basically doing uh, quick, heavy hitting attacks. So their fighters don't have a heck of a lot of armor. So once you break through their shields, which you can usually do with a few missiles, uh, they are actually surprisingly the easy to take out. Sir. All right, let's see. Looks like the convoy is probably about four or five kilometers away. Yeah, about five kilometers. Looks like just me and uh, Beta 2 are the ones that have the most damage. Uh, the convoy looks good. Worst is Cargo Alpha, which is at 58%, but uh, I mean, as long as they don't send in any bombers, we should be fine. Heads up. We've got visitors. Looks like more bomb uh, fighters here. So let's go ahead and shoot these guys down as well before they can do any real damage. And try and. Well. I didn't manage to evade that missile at all. There we go. Well, looks like my wingmen are actually doing better than me for once at taking out these uh, fighters. Let's see, jump nodes right there. About uh, three kilometers to it. Yeah, it looks like about three. Greetings, Terran. We have come oh, to good reinforcements. Alpha and Beta are relieved. I'm not going anywhere. I want to blow up more Shivans. Take escort. Until then, Alpha and Beta have guard. Your lack of trust is typical, Terran. I don't like these guys. Roger, sir. On our way. More incoming. More friendlies. You were Terrans. There are members of the Hammer of Light. Okay, so these are Hammer of Light people and wow they did not that wing did not let well shit just crashed into one of my own fighters but that shows you about how much of a threat they are they just uh like they went down quick Almost to the node, uh, about a kilometer out for the closest ship, I think. Actually, probably less than. I'm well, saying 15, but. Uh, well, 1500 meters, but it looks a lot closer. It looks like this is about uh, it for the mission because these guys look like they're about to jump out. And they're getting right into there.
Yeah, he's going through the node right now. And remember, this is just a wireframe image painted on the HUD. The node's actually invisible, but uh, you still have to be in it if you want to go to another system. But they should be jumping out any second now. There we go. Rearming complete, sir. Touch one away. There goes second one and third one should be jumping out here in a moment. And I think you only needed one of these guys to survive, but uh, all of them did, so we should be good there. Cargo has made it to Rivos. Return to base. Alright, let's go ahead and jump out here. You did a superb job and I got another medal for crashing into a bunch of things and killing a fighter on technical crashing. Your performance will go down in the books as a standard for future See, pilots. No recommendation. Simply outstanding pilot. In appreciation of your fine performance in our first operation with Allied Vasudans, we are awarding you the Vasudan Alliance Medal. So they actually made up a medal for this. But. Uh, anyways, I am Trekkie1701C, and please be sure to subscribe and comment.